when circumstances change, so does our behavior, right? I behave differently in a church than I did on the playing fields. When I came to America at age 11, I quickly learned that the, the number one insult you give to another bloke is to call him the F word. And I, I use that for years, but I, I would use it less often in church, right? It wasn't an appropriate phrase to use in church, it imply company. So when Dennis Prager walks into a room, right, he has so much charisma, so much presence that he exerts this force field around him. When I walk into a room, uh, people either don't pay any attention or they feel uh, so relaxed and at ease, they're very likely to come up and uh, share a dirty joke with me. <laughs> I remember once when Dennis Prager went to shul, I gave him a copy of this uh, illicit movie I'd made. And uh, Dennis says, wow, in, in New York, when I go to shul, they give me a talus, a, a prayer shawl. When I go to shul in Los Angeles, they give me a porno. So the most uh, humorous comic is likely to appear subdued if he's put on trial, right? A person who scores high in social anxiety may very well come across as relaxed and confident in the company of intimate friends. So Hillary Clinton, for example, has an entirely different style when she's among friends than when she speaks publicly. When she speaks publicly, she's highly self-conscious, like uh, Kamala Harris is still highly self-conscious. Uh, Tim Walls does not appear highly self-conscious. So he comes across much more casual and spontaneous. So the circumstances have changed around Kamala Harris. She's no longer primarily the vice president. She's now a candidate for president. So the old inept Harris was vice president. And, and that job is to play second fiddle, to do no harm, and to make sure you do not draw attention away from the president. But now Kamala Harris is the presidential nominee. And she is encouraged to remain in the spotlight and to go full throttle on the political highway. And people like winners. We likely have an evolutionary biological reason to be favorably disposed to winners, men in particular, young men in particular, primarily orient upwards in status and tend to ignore those who are below them in status. There's an anecdote when uh, Barack Obama was competing for the Democratic nomination with Hillary Clinton. A Clinton supporter said to me, after the first primary, guess who won? I don't know, I answered, was it Clinton? Barack Obama, he replied, and then he went on, and this victory makes him interesting. So Barack Obama was the same person before he began winning primaries, but something changed when he started to win, right? A new light was shining on him.